only a bit of a stop start day because of the rain but you got through it yeah these days are not fun but um yeah really chuffed that we came through with the win um on a tough day and uh, yeah credit to the bowlers thought we bowled exceptionally well um after the first rain break we came out and really bowled to our potential hit the deck um and just bowled straight um and it paid off and um yeah delighted with the contribution today with um help from Maya Boucher who batted really well and Freya and George Rowis there at the end. Yeah, you and Maya on 62 there for the second wicket, but you came back out after another rain break, <laughs> 46 needed off the last seven, yeah. but you and Maya at the crease, you know, you guys are experienced in those situations, yeah, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, we just said just play normal cricket shots uh, for the first few overs because, you know, I think we needed seven and over. Um, and the boundary came as well, And but it just shows you get a couple of dot balls and you start to get a bit nervy, so... And um, we held on over really well there and, um, yeah, delighted to get over the line. Just a good win against a side that will probably be there or thereabouts and mm. pushing you guys come the end of the season. Yeah, it's always a great game when, whenever we play the Sparks. They're a quality team. They've got great depth in their squad as well, like us. And, um, yeah, it's always a tough game. And we play against these, so delighted to get the win. 36 not out from you today on the day that you are back in the one-day international squad. Well, you were there anyway, but confirmed. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, really tough to be um, selected in any England squad. And uh, we meet up next week at Loughborough. I've got a few days prep before the first ODI, which is in Northampton, I think. So, um, yeah, really excited to meet up with the girls again. Um, we haven't played 50 over cricket since the World Cup. So um, an exciting series ahead against the Sappers.